Steven and I met freshman year at high school at San Diego Academy. He didn't really remember my name until sophomore year, but I remember him freshman year. I remember he was wearing a Led Zeppelin shirt when I met him, and um, he was really friendly and really nice and smiled. And when I first met Allie, um, what really caught my eyes was obviously her looks. Uh, she was very pretty, and she has really beautiful hair. Like her hair just stands out more than anything else, and she has a great smile, and I just love that about her. Well, what first attracted me most was his eyes and his eyelashes. Older women always tell him he has beautiful eyelashes and he hates it. We became friends sophomore year. We had a class together and uh, we had like a group of four of us that would always hang out. And me and Ali became really good friends and then junior year we eventually became like best friends. We would hang out in our cars every morning before school and just talk. I mean, she would mostly talk. I would listen mostly. She was funny, every morning she'd come to school and she'd go to Starbucks every single morning and get the same drink. Triple Ice Grande Caramel Macchiato from Starbucks. One of the things that I love the most about him is that he's an amazing listener and he always puts other people before himself. Not many people do that. He always wants to hear the other person's story and to hear them out first and then talk about what he wants to talk about. He always wants to hear about my day first and to um, ask about other people and I think that that's so rare. Uh, I'm so thankful for that time we had where I could just you know, really learn who she was. And that's where I fell in love with her like before we even started dating. Like, so one night Steven came over to watch the movie Maid of Honor, but it's about a guy and a girl who are best friends, and the girl is getting married, and her best friend realizes he's in love with her and he tries to stop the wedding. He does stop the wedding, and they end up together because they realize they were perfect for each other all along. We started cuddling, and we got really close, and after the movie ended, we kissed, and it just felt right. And it was like the beginning of our actual relationship. I asked her out, I think it was the next day. I was walking out of class and she was already at her car and I texted her to just wait at her car for a little bit until I got down there. So as soon as I saw her, I asked her if she wanted to go out with me. Steven asked me out that afternoon and that night was my senior night. It's a big deal, the parents come, there's a ceremony and awards. And The night I met Allie's mom, I did not know she was gonna be there. Steven came in a backwards baseball cap and basketball shorts. And for some reason, my mom has a vendetta against baseball hats. Little did I know, Allie's mom absolutely hates hats of any kind, especially backwards. And I'm, I'm sure she wasn't a fan of the tank top as well. My mom's first impression of him is, who is this hoodlum dating my daughter? But my dad really liked Steven. He knew him before as a friend, so he had met him before we officially started dating. Um, and so just like any dad who's looking out for his daughter, he was a little bit weary, but he ended up to really like Steven and have a good impression of him. When we first started dating, Steven told me that one of his favorite bands was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He kind of led me on saying like, oh, I love Red Hot Chili Peppers, they're one of my favorite bands too. Like, can we have something in common? Like, it's so great, like, this band's awesome. And actually, about three and a half years into our relationship for Christmas, he even bought me Red Hot Chili Pepper tickets because he still thought they were my favorite band. Little did I know, the night of the concert, she told me that they weren't her favorite band. I finally told him that it wasn't my favorite band and that all this time he had thought that. When I wanted to propose to Allie, it had to be a surprise. When she knows there's surprises around her, she'll try to get a little surprise. So I planned it on my birthday, thinking that she'd never figure it out. I had kind of predicted it would happen on her four year anniversary on the month of day. So I was surprised that it was September 15th. However, the morning of, I did have my suspicions because my sister came into my room and was like, what are you going to wear today? And I knew that she looked a little bit too intent on planning my outfit out for a normal day. And so I immediately turned to her at like 9 o'clock in the morning. And she said, no, what are you talking about? But we ended up going to the SRF Garden. It was really pretty and it was such a nice day. When we got to the garden, my sister and her husband and my mom all fanned out and started taking pictures and recording it. And so we just had our own little moment. So all of a sudden, I was really caught off guard. And I really was surprised. And 
everything was just so perfect. And like Stephen McKenzie pulled off the ring and asked me to marry him, and then we hugged and celebrated all day with my family and his. And we went to a Padre game that night, and it was just the best day. I'm so excited for the wedding to see all the people we love there to support us. I'm so excited to be marrying Stephen, to get to go from dating to being engaged to being married. It's such an exciting step in the whole process and it just makes us one step closer to being our own family and I can't wait just to be husband and wife and to get to go on our honeymoon together and I just can't wait to finally be married and the whole point of the wedding is, is us getting to be husband and wife so I'm so excited for that.